Hey guys, Gary at Furniture Refinishing by Renew. I wanted to really quick, we're working on this Nakashima credenza, uh, George Nakashima, and um, I wanted to, as I was working, I was sort of inspired to create another um, little quick video for you guys to think about. Um, you know, one of the funny things is when you're looking at furniture and you're looking at a price tag, and sometimes, um, you know, the design is all you're seeing, but you're not seeing the details. And so sometimes you see a high price tag on something and you're wondering why and why is it worth it. So, you know, George Nakashima specialized in really creating simple, simple furniture. That was his big thing. It should be really simple, very basic, but timeless. And also uh, it should stand the test of time. So things like this, this is the base of this credenza. We have it off while we're oiling it. You know, he joined the, um, the legs here, the pedestal to these runners using this little notch. And again, you would never see this um, in, a, in a gallery, in a store, if you were to buy this piece. But this notch makes this joint so much stronger. It takes more time to do it, but it makes this um, super strong compared to if you had just you know, slid this full piece in without notching it. Um, so those are the little details that once it's assembled, you wouldn't really even notice it. The other thing is on the shelves inside, I'm gonna grab a shelf here. Um, these are the shelves, they're white oak shelves. And what's neat is that, again, simple little detail, is he did a tongue and groove um, little end piece here on both sides of the shelf. Now, normally when you do a shelf, you would just cut, a, cut this middle section to the right width instead of having this uh, tongue and groove piece. But what that does is it actually creates a really strong way to prevent this shelf from warping. So that will make it rigid so it won't warp. And it also prevents cracking because it's a solid oak piece. It's not a plywood or a particle board, it's actually solid wood, so it tends to want to crack. This helps prevent that. So again, a little detail, it took some time to do it, not a lot of time, but a little extra time, and those details are what makes a great piece of furniture. Now, this Nakashima piece, if you were to buy it from a dealer today, would probably run you between fifteen dollars and $25,000 roughly. Um, that's a lot of money, but it's because it's George Nakashima. There are a lot of fantastic woodworkers out there that you can find that have small shops all across the country that can, re can make furniture like this for you. It will still be more than you know going to the local big box store, but in the end, this piece here literally can last hundreds of years if it's maintained. I mean, it can just be re-oiled over the years and kept up, handed down. This is a second generation owner now that has this. Um, it's worth it. Um, when you talk about sustainability, this is sustainable. This, uh, the finish is sustainable, the wood is sustainable, everything, and it's gonna last and last and last, and that's the best way to furnish your, your life if you're able to. And uh, sometimes I'm not about the quantity of items you have, but the quality of them. So George Nakashima understood that, that was his philosophy, that's our philosophy here. When you're talking about sustainability, restoring an old piece, refinishing an old piece is um, a great way to do that on a budget, where you can take an old piece and bring it back to life. Uh, again, this is a Nakashima piece. This is worth a lot of money, more than most people would uh, be able to spend on a credenza necessarily, but it doesn't necessarily um, you know, mean that the philosophy is still not right, which is quality over price tag and uh, sustainability over just throwaway furniture. So consider that when you're furnishing your life. Consider um, these principles and, and look beyond just the, the look in the showroom and the price tag. Look at the details. So hopefully that helps somebody. Thanks.